Hello, this is Pastor Scott Cruz, and we're going to take an aerial view over a couple of chapters in the book of 1 Corinthians. And the reason why we're looking at this is a lot of people say the tongues are not for today, that when the apostles died, that speaking in tongues and the baptism of the Holy Spirit ceased. They are cessationists, okay? And they don't believe that the spiritual gifts are for today. Now, lots of, uh, lots of Christians look at it that way. I don't. And one of the verses that they use to say that um, this, that we no longer have tongues is found in Corinthians chapter 13, verse 10. Now, Corinthians 13, you're probably pretty familiar with it. Uh, this is read at almost every wedding. Uh, you know, love is patient, love is kind, it doesn't envy, it does not post. Um, you know, starting in verse 4. Of course, in verse 13, uh, we see that if I speak in the tongues of men or angels but have not love, I'm a resounding gong a clamming sig, uh, symbol. And you probably heard that as well. And so we see here that there are the, the, the tongues, and this word tongues right here, we can look at this, and uh, and I can check out the, here's the tongue language, uh, the, the lemma for that, and, and here it is over here, and this is... Glossa. Uh, it's glossa, is, is what it is. And it means a tongue language, a static language. Now, the word a static, it means... Uh, overwhelming happiness and joyful excitement. And so this is uh, this is a very specific word that is is in the Greek. So if I sp so he's talking about speaking in tongues here. How do I also know that? Uh, well, we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, but it says, Love never fails. Where there is prophecies, there will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. And they say, see, look, tongues will be stilled. Tongues have been stilled. That's why we don't see speaking in tongues today is because the Lord stilled it. Now, uh, it's my opinion, and and I always think I'm right. I, I don't think I'm always right, but I always think I'm right. Okay, and because uh, if, if I thought I was wrong, I would change my mind, and then I would think I was right. And so, um, so, but I feel pretty strongly about this, and this is what we teach in the assemblies of God, and I've experienced my own life, and so I, I, that's why I feel so strongly about it. But it's my view that there are Christians who interpret the Bible not looking at the Bible uh, only. But they try to uh, interpret the Bible according to their own experience. And one of the best things one of my pastors ever said to me was, Scott, you have to believe the Bible more than your own experience. Now, why is that important? Because I think if I approach the scripture and I say, I got to figure out in the scripture why people don't speak in tongues. Or I read something in the scripture, and, and, but as Pentecostals, we read that and we say, you know what, that's for us. We can we can read the scripture and and, and believe that it's for us. And so, and here's why I think that. Uh, this is a verse that they point to, to say that, see, um, tongues have ceased. But if you look, what, what do we find in verse, uh, in verse 12? Well, we see concerning spiritual gifts. And what does the Apostle Paul say? Now, who's he writing to? He's writing to the Corinthian church, okay? Um, and he's and Paul's not going to live forever. Paul knows that this is going to be distributed all over, and he knows uh, that this is going to be something that's going to be read, read, and read, and read, okay? And what does he say in verse 1? Now, about the gifts of the Spirit, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed, and so, and we can pick this apart, and we're going to pick this apart uh, even better later. But in verse 12, he's talking about spiritual gifts. In um, chapter 14, he, sa he starts off by saying, Follow the way of love, that's what he's talking about in chapter 13, and eagerly desire the gifts of the Spirit, especially prophecy, for anyone who speaks in a tongue does not speak to people but to God. Indeed, no one understands them. And so we begin to see the multiple uses for tongues, which I'm going to do another video on here in a minute. Um, but follow the way of love. And so to say that the apostle, that the tongues are not for today, but the apostle Paul spends all kinds of time in verse, tw in chapter 12, and all kinds of time in chapter 14, uh, talking about tongues. And he starts off uh, 12 saying, now about spiritual gifts, brothers and sisters, I don't want you to be uninformed. I think it is a intellectually dishonest to to say that Paul is saying the tongues are going to cease. Why would he teach on it so much if tongues were going to cease? So tongues haven't ceased. Uh, they're happening all over the world, and that's why the Pentecostal movement is just raging, is because of the power of the Holy Spirit. It's got it so cool. May the Lord richly bless you. I'm to see you in church on Sunday.